2004, man. I was uh, I was graduating. I was graduating high school. Musically, I was actually DJing and was really into uh, hip hop and uh, house music. I was mainly influenced by, like, I would listen to a lot of uh, Mark Farina, a lot of San Francisco, Miguel Miggs, Claude Von Stroke, and a bunch of that. And uh, yeah, that's, I can't believe that's when the album came out. I mean, Minus went at its peak around that time was, was amazing. I mean, it brought out the, one of the best artists and I think that's been around. The production aspect of Minus was really good. It was very simple. And that's the kind of stuff that I really like, that I really like, you know? I re I'm really into that, just simplicity and straightforwardness, you know? And it was very raw and gritty. And that's what, that's, that's definitely something that kind of changed the perspective in like producing music and stuff. I use the flanger for uh, one of the hi-hats and it gives it that weird sound. I did that, I just kind of... Something like that. I mean, when you throw it in, toss it in the track. It's... like weird spacey sound which I really like and I've used it a bunch in the past too I mean to me saying it's a uh, it's simple I mean to me the meaning of simple is a whole lot different than what everybody says I mean because to me simple is amazing so I would I would say simple. I, I, I could say I mean I could use another word, I could use like real, because that was real, it was straightforward. Like he didn't give a fuck. He made it he made what he wanted to do and he and he and he did it, you know? Like that's something that I love and you can hear it too. You can hear it in the album, just like straightforward, you know? So that's the kind of stuff I like. I like realness in, in music, you know? And it was very unique at that time, so that's like that's something that I really enjoyed.